This video will do a few extra practice problems. Um, remember, you can either use the triangles like we did in chapter five, you can use the unit circle like we did in chapter six, or you could also use your sine and cosine graphs um, and tangent graphs if you'd like. Um, just for time to make this video a little shorter, I'm gonna just use the unit circle while I'm solving these and the, the four axis points. So the first thing you need to do, and when you're taking the quiz tomorrow, you must show work for each problem. So you need to have to show me how you solved it. So I'm gonna subtract two from both sides, and I end up with sine of x is equal to one. So this tells me that, remember when it's sine, we're gonna look at the y of the order pair. So I'm looking for a y that equals one. So if I draw my four points here, this tells me it's gonna come from the axis points. So I'm looking for the order pair where y equals one. And there's only one occurrence and it's right here and that's for the 90 degree angle. So the answer to this problem is 90 degrees. The next one, again, I need to solve for sine of x first. I'm gonna add one to both sides. So two sine x equals one, divide by two. And now this time, sine of x equals one half. Again, remember sine looks at y. So I'm gonna go and do my all students take calculus. I'm going to look to see which quadrants sine is positive in, and it's positive here and here. So now what I'm gonna do is go to my unit circle, and I'm gonna to try to find where y equals one half in quadrants one and two. So if I come back up here, I can see that my y is one half here at 30 degrees and also at 150. So right here. So I'll go ahead and my two answers are 30 and 150. So 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Again, remember you can do the triangles also, however you want to solve for this, but you need to give me all angles that satisfy that equation. And let's try number three. So here, a little clue here, told you a while back, remember that the tangent of 45 equals one. So here, if I subtract one, tangent of x equals negative one. What I need to do here is my all students take calculus, figure out which quadrants tangent is negative in, and I know that tangent's going to be negative here and here. And again, I already know my reference angle is 45. So you can either memorize the angles. This one's 180 minus 45, so this will be 135. And then to get this one, it's 360 minus 45, and it's 315. So the answer to number three is going to be 135 degrees and 315. Over here, cotangent, remember that's the reciprocal of tangent. So cotangent of x equals one. Again, that sh you should remember that that is the reference angle of 45. All students take calculus. I know that tangent is positive and cotangent is positive in these two. So again, 45 is your reference angle. So to get the angle for quadrant three, you're gonna do 180 plus 45 and that'll be 225. So the two angles for number four are 45 degrees and 225. For the next one, again, we need to um, solve for cosine of x. This one is gonna involve factoring out a greatest common factor. So I'm gonna factor out cosine x. I'm left with two cosine x minus root three. Okay, so now that I've factored it, I'm gonna set each of the factors equal to zero. Two cosine x minus root three equals zero. This one's done. Again, when I see that it's equal to zero, I know it's gonna come from an axis point. Cosine, remember, we're gonna look at an x. We're looking for an x that equals zero. So over here, I'm gonna look for the two order pairs where x equals zero, which will be here for the 90 degrees, 
in here for the 270. So, so far I've got 90 degrees and 270. I need to finish solving this one. So I'm going to add root 3 to cosine x equals root 3 divide by 2 cosine x equals the square root of 3 over 2. Again, I'm going to look at my unit circle and I'm going to look to see where x in the order pair equals the square root of 3 over 2. So if you go and you look at your unit circle, you're going to find that it is the 30 degree angle that has it. Oh, let me do my all students take calculus here. Again, cosine's positive, so I'm going to be looking here and here. So my reference angle where x is equal to root 3 over 2 is 30 degrees. And then this one, if you look at your unit circle, you're going to see the other angle is 330. Let's try number 6. This one's going to be a trinomial that we need to factor. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So 2 cosine squared x minus cosine x minus 1 equals 0. I need to come up with the two binomials that when I FOIL them give me the trinomial. So I'm going to put 2 cosine x there and then 1 cosine x here. Then the factors of negative 1 are 1 and negative 1. And then I just have to figure out where the sign is going to go. I'm going to put my positive sign here. Again, do a quick outer inner FOIL and make sure that um, it does give you the middle term. Um, that's negative cosine x, which it does. Now you'll set each one of these equal to zero. I'm going to add one on this one. I'm going to subtract one on this one. Divide by two. And cosine x equals negative half. So now, again, for this one, I'm going to look at my unit circle. I need to find out where x is equal to negative half. I could do my all students take calculus. And I need to figure out what my reference angle is. And I'm going to see that it's going to be the 60 degrees. So my reference angle is here. I'm looking for cosine to be negative. So here and here. So to do this one, it's 180 minus 60, so it's 120. And then this one's 180 plus 60, so it's 240. Over here, this is going to come from the axis points. I'm looking for an x equal to 1, because cosine looks at x. So it's going to be this order pair over here, which corresponds to 0 degrees. So this one has three answers. It has 0 degrees, 120 degrees, and 240. Number 7, this one's another trinomial. I'm going to go ahead and add the 2 sine squared x to the other side. So now I'm getting 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x plus 1 equals 0. I need to factor the trinomial. I'll go ahead and put 2 sine x here, 1 sine x here, and the factors of positive 1 are going to be 1 and 1. Okay, so now I'm going to set each one equal to 0. Sine x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1. 2 sine of x equals negative 1, divide by 2, sine of x equals negative half. Over here, move the 1 over, sine x equals negative 1. So now again for this one, sine looks at y. All students take calculus. I'm trying to find out where sine is negative. <laughs> Okay, so again, I'm looking for sine to be negative. So sine's going to be negative here and here. 
So I'm gonna go to my unit circle and I'm gonna find where y equals negative half and it's gonna be at negative half at 210 and 330. Over here, again, we're looking for y to be negative one. So down here at the order pair negative, zero negative one, which is the 270. So the answer for number seven is going to be 210, 270, and 330. Number eight, I'm going to move the tan x to the other side because I need it set equal to zero. I'm going to factor out a GCF of tangent of x, and I'm left with tan x minus one. Set each factor equal to zero. So tangent of x minus one equals zero. So here, when tangent of x equals zero. Remember tangents y over x, so I'm looking for a y to be zero. So if I come over here, I'm gonna have two places where it equals zero. It's one zero and negative one zero. So this is zero and 180. Over here, add one. Remember, I told you to remember that the tangent of 45 is one. So all students take calculus, tangents positive here and here. So 45, and then the other angle here is 180 plus 45, and that'll be 225. So this one has four answers, 0, 45, 180, and 225. For number nine, we're going to move the tangent squared x to the other side by subtracting it. So 2 tangent squared x sine x minus tangent squared x equals 0. I need to factor out a greatest common factor. My GCF is going to be tan squared x. I'll now set each factor equal to 0. And now square root both sides on this one. So tangent of x equals zero. Over here, add the one. Two sine x equals one. Divide by two. Sine of x equals one half. So again, here, I'm gonna use these two points. I'm looking for, remember tangents y over x. So I know y needs to be zero. So one zero, negative one zero. So the 180 and the zero for this one. For this one, I'm looking where y equals one half. All students take calculus. Sine is positive here and here. So I know that y equals one half at 30 degrees and 150. So this one has four answers also. It's 0, 30, 150, and 180. Number 10. This one's a trinomial again. So I need to move the 2 to the other side. So sine squared x plus 3 sine x plus 2 equals 0. I need to factor this. So sine x, sine x, and then the factors of 2 are going to be 1 times 2. So plus 1, plus 2. Didn't matter where it goes, it's the same thing either way. Set sine x plus 1 equal to 0, sine x plus 2 equals 0, move the 1, sine x equals negative 1, subtract the 2, sine x equals negative 2, this should be a red flag, we know that sine has to be a fraction, so this one's no solution, and this one's going to come from your axis points. 
So I'm looking for y to be negative 1 because sine looks at y. So 0, negative 1. So the only answer here is 270 degrees. Number 11, I need to move the cosecant over to the other side. And I'm going to factor out a GCF of cosecant. And now set each of the factors equal to zero. Cosecant x equals zero. Cosecant x minus one equals zero. This one I have to solve. Cosecant x equals one. So again here, it has to be greater than one or less than negative one. So this one's no solution. And then this one you can think reciprocal. So really we're looking for sine of x equals one. Sine looks at y. So I'm trying to find the order pair where y equals 1, and it's going to be this one. So the only answer here is 90 degrees. Number 12, I'm going to factor out a greatest common factor of secant x. Set secant x equal to 0, secant x minus 1 equal to 0 secant x equals 1. Again, this one is no solution. This one, the reciprocal of secant is cosine. So I can go ahead and look at where x equals 1, and that's going to be just this order pair. So it's 0 degrees. So the only answer here for number 12 is 0 degrees. And now number 13, the last one. Here I'm going to move the one to the other side. I could actually factor this. It could become cosecant x plus 1, cosecant x minus 1. Set them both equal to 0. I could have also moved the 1 over and used the square root method either way. Subtract 1, add 1, cosecant x equals 1. So I'm trying to find out where the reciprocal, which is sine, equals plus and minus 1. So sine looks at y. So y is positive 1 here at 90 negative one here at the 270. So the two answers here for number 13 are 90 and 270. So again, no Pythagorean identities. You will not have to square both sides to solve something, so there will be no checking. And other thing on here, again, remember, key thing here, tangent of 45 equals one, cotangent of 45 equals one. Um, this might be another helpful hint. Tangent of 0 equals 0 degrees, uh, and tangent of 180 degrees also equals 0. So um, just be mindful of those um, facts. Again, you can have a unit circle. You could have the triangles. You could have your uh, trig graphs um, already graphed out for you, whatever you want to use tomorrow for the quiz. But again, remember, you must show work for every question. That's it. Good luck tomorrow. Remember two devices and show your work.